Well, first of all, um, let me just tell you how pleased I am to be here. It's really an honor to be part of this process. You know, it's not that long ago that the OECD released a report that showed illicit trade was growing rapidly worldwide across you know, multiple sectors. And they also showed that this was happening increasingly through illicit trade in small parcels. You know, this is exactly, you know, what's happening here at the UPU is looking at how illicit trade goes to the small parcels. And what's impressive is how swiftly the UPU has responded to this problem. I mean, starting with the Postal Security Group um, prioritizing this as a problem on their agenda. It was just not a couple of meetings ago that they started this. The Secretariat reached out to your global network of postal services trying to learn from them you know, where the problems were, where they could, um, where they could use some help, uh, to the creation of an expert team, and then today the signing of an MOU with the private sector, you know, drawing on our expertise. So it's really been, you know, an exciting journey. I'm glad to be here, and it's very impressive how swiftly the, the UPU has acted on this. Well, let me start with explaining what trace it means. That's the Transnational Alliance to Combat Illicit Trade. And our mission is to do exactly that, combat illicit trade. We're a private sector, nonprofit organization. Our mission is to do whatever we can do to help mitigate the trade um, of illicit products across you know, a dozen different sectors, from falsified pharmaceuticals to harmful counterfeits to pesticides to food fraud. We try to look at the, you know, the, the whole spectrum of things. So the way we go about fighting illicit trade is somewhat unique. We address it across multiple sectors and we're looking at the commonalities. That's what's unique about trace. It is that we address illicit trade and, and I try to identify the commonalities. Now, one of those commonalities is where illicit traders from different sectors might exploit the global supply chain. So you might imagine um, maritime container shipping is abused and exploited by illicit traders for all different types of, um, of illegal products. Same thing for uh, e-commerce websites that are used to sell products, which brings us to the UPU. Um, the Postal Service express carriage of small parcels is increasingly exploited by criminals to um, transport and distribute illicit trade. That's exactly what brings us here, is to collaborate with you and see if we can strengthen um, um, that part of the supply chain, see if we can close the gaps, eliminate some of the weaknesses. Well, there's one primary synergy, and that is we're both committed to improving security. And in this case, we're looking ways that we can eliminate vulnerabilities in the global postal supply chain. So we're a private sector organization. We bring to the table our expertise, information uh, that's available from the companies that are conducting business in this area. You're a private or a public sector organization you know, made up of postal services from around the world. Your objectives are to do what you can do to improve security and safety in that system. And together we can tackle, we're tackling this problem. Well, you know, the global postal network isn't involved in illicit trade as much as it's a victim of illicit trade. Uh, it's being exploited by criminals that are trying to purposely discover weaknesses in a postal system throughout the world. I think a point that I really want to make is that um, addressing illicit trade is not new for the UPU. It's not new for the Postal Security Group. In fact, this is something that the Postal Security Group has been concentrating on for a long time. I think what's new is that we're deepening uh, the UPU's focus on a wider scope of illicit trade, different products illicit trade beyond narcotics or arms or bomb in the box, for example. Um, so that's why this is, project is so important is that the UPU is doubling down and addressing the problem in a much more sophisticated uh, strategic way.
The MOU is really a starting point for us. It's a way for two different organizations to collaborate on their common objective. In this case, it's fighting illicit trade. It's, it's mitigating the abuse of the global postal system by criminals. Now, the strength of an MOU is that it brings the public sector and the private sector together. This is one of the strongest ten tenets of the um, UN Sustainable Development Goals, for example. In fact, when I look at signing the MOU, I feel like we are doing the best we can do to implement SDG 17, which is all about the private sector and the public sector collaborating toward the achievement of the SDGs.